Here we are with Mover and Shaker, Edward Tricomi, Salon Peachy, Hair Now, episode 20. 20, wow, we got to 20. That's May 23. So here we are, the last time at the Plaza Hotel. Warren Tricomi is moving uptown. You're moving on up. Uh, we're moving actually to uh, 76 and Madison, Fort Floor. The actual address is 6, uh, 969. East 76 years. And how will it be different? It's a very different experience. Each salon I've ever designed and done have always had different themes. So this one is like being in a very upscale apartment. Great. So it's right above Zinnaber, right? Right. So tell us about the other Warren Chikomis around the world, please. Well, I mean, we have 14 in India. They're in the Taj hotels and other hotels in India. We have three in Japan, and we have now, we had eight in the United States. We've downscaled a lot of it, combining stuff and, and you know, the pieces run out, and we've been in business many years. Uh, so we have now in New York, three. Greenwich, Connecticut, East Hampton, and Manhattan. Which is so, easier for us to, to navigate and do, you know, than having so many come on go over the place. So what is new in fashion for spring? What's hot? Well, I mean, you know, every spring everybody likes to cut their hair a little shorter because it's cooler. So, you know, short bobs, bob length lines here. And of course, the classic long hair is always sexy looks. Right now, the Met just did Carl Lagerfeld at the Costume Institute. Did you ever meet Carl, or do you have an opinion yeah, yeah, on that? Yes, I, I can tell you a funny story with Carl Lagerfeld, if you want to hear it. Please do. Okay, okay. I was about 21 years old, like that. I was in Paris doing the collections with both. And uh, I was waiting for the makeup to be done. And when you shoot the collections in Paris, you usually get the clothes at night, because during the day they're showing them in shows. So you get the clothes at night. And it was like maybe about two in the morning, like that. I'm sitting in Carl Lagerfeld's apartment, which was the Zeko apartment that he had, in a bathtub, in a room, a huge room, all white tile, killer, you know, with library books all around, beautiful books all around. So I got a stack of books like this, and I sat in the bathtub. I was ready for the makeup to be done. And I'm looking through these fashion books. And Carl walked in wearing a World War One pilot's outfit with wow. the hat, the scarf, the leather jacket, the pants with, you know, with the side ballooning out, and two of his friends, a girl and a guy. And the three of them look happy. I'm sitting in the bathtub. He says, are you caught? I said, yeah. I said, I'm really sorry. He said, no, no, don't worry about it. He said, what are you reading? So I had this book. He said, oh, keep any book you want, you know? Oh, that's really, really sweet, really nice. So he, he, he loved the idea that I was reading and that I liked books, because he liked books a lot too. Yeah, we loved books. So there's more to the story. Did you keep so the when books? I got, yes, I kept one book. When I got back to New York, I went to Disney store and I bought a huge pencil art set. Like a 500 pencil art set, like a really big one. And I sent it to him in Paris as a thank you for the book. If you ever look at any archival footage of Paul Lagerfeld doing sketches and stuff, you'll notice that the pencils are Mickey Mouse pencils. Oh, because those are your, your pencils. My pencils. That's great. So, did you see the exhibit yourself? No, I haven't gone yet, but I will go. What are your favorite designs of his? I mean, Paul's on tons of stuff, it's hard to say. So, what, what kind of hair did you do for that? For what, for when I worked at that yeah, that for, thing for Vogue? Oh, pulled back a lot of hair, a lot of hair, big and those, you know, big, wavy, sort of textured hair. You know, Do like you know that. what kind of hair he liked? Uh, Carl, Carl liked, you know, I and mean, it had to have good, depending on the clothes. You know, a lot of times in shows, you want to pull the hair back and keep it tight because they want the silhouette of the clothes to come out. Sometimes you use hair down, depends, depends, it's all dependent. Have you worked on any new editorials lately? Uh, I've been working on a lot of shows, so I've been doing most of shows lately. Um, uh, I've done an editorial for about four months ago I did one that was interesting. It was all about red and, and fire, so fire, redheads, and all of that. That was interesting. Cool. And what shows did you do? 
The last show I just finished with Frederick Anderson. It was an upscale New York designer. So we're almost at summer. It's still springtime, but we're almost at summer. What should people be doing for their hair this summer? What do you think? Well, I mean, the big thing that you want to do, if you have a great color, you want to protect it, so wear it at some point in the hot sun. Uh, um, and, you know, have different looks. If you want to stay cool, pull it back into a chignon, take a little braid, take that, twist it up, and pin it. That's always a classic. You know? So there's little tricks like that you can do over the summer. Great. Well, thank you so much, Edward. Have a great summer. You have a good summer too. And we look forward to seeing you at 76 in Madison for episode 21 next time. Okay. Thank you. 76. 76. 76.